What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're in the garage and I think you know what that means. We're gonna be unboxing some new tools. And let me preface all of this video by saying, I am not sponsored by anybody. I do not have any affiliation with the tools that I open. That being said, everything you see here has been purchased with my own hard-earned money. Just like you guys, you know, I shouldn't get any special favors just because I make videos. You can make videos too. So I, I don't know, I don't get it. There's a lot of people who are just like begging for products and it's like, come on man, just, just, you know, and we've had companies reach out, we just turn them down, you know. The other day, Elon Musk was like, hey Richard, you know, cyber trucks could be a pretty good work truck. And I was like, hey, it's make a long bed and we'll talk, all right? Just gotta get your stuff together, Elon. So how this came about, I recently had the opportunity to get some free kitchen cabinets from one of our customers. He said, hey, I'm getting all new cabinets. If you take this stuff out and haul it away, I'll give you the cabinets, you can have them. And I looked at them, they were in pretty good shape. They were a lot nicer than the ones I currently had in my house. So I took them up on the offer. We rented a box truck and we drove over there and it took all day. I've never taken granite out before and that was intense. And he had like a 10 by 10 granite island. And I was like, oh, we'll just pick the whole thing up. Stupid, St we, uh, no. We had to smash it with a sledgehammer and break it into like little pieces. It was, it was bad. But anyways, all that to say, when we were taking these cabinets out, I saw like the pocket holes in the back of these face frames. And I was like, those pocket holes look legit. They look a lot better than the ones I'm getting from my little Craig system and they look like they were very cleanly cut and they look like they were cut with some kind of like industrial machine. So that sent my mind on this rabbit trail and I was like, I'm gonna go on Google and look and see, type in things. So I typed in industrial pocket hole machine, professional cabinet pocket hole machine and then I kept seeing this company come up. It does the whole process of cutting the pocket hole and drilling the pilot hole like in a simple motion. And I was like, this is the one I wanna try. So I went ahead and ordered it. And you know, could cause this, could cause a divorce. This thing has been sitting in the garage now for about three days and it's taken everything in me to not open it because I wanted to do it on camera. Sounds like some pocket screws. Looks like our cord. Oh no, this is this is the router. This thing actually cuts the pockets with a router. So I believe that's a Bosch router. And I'm gonna have to set this thing on the floor and then pull it up. First impression of this thing, just while it's still in the plastic, just the size of it, it looks like the perfect size. Something you can take to a job site, something I'm gonna take to a job site. Just this week I had a Wayne Scott project that we were doing. I had 34 styles that needed two pocket holes each, so I had to cut 68 pocket holes with a Craig jig, and that is just, it can do the job, it did the job, but these tools that we buy, we just want them to make our life easier and just make it more enjoyable to work. This is, I think, gonna accomplish both of those things. Look, they gave you this little block. It's like a little advertisement. And it says castleusa.com. And look at these pocket screws. This is, or these pocket holes. This is what I saw on the back of those face frames of those cabinets. And I was like, how did, in the world did someone do that? Because all I know is the Craig jig. I never knew there was another way to do it. So seeing those right there caused me to purchase this, which as funny as that sounds. So we're just getting to the first part of these instructions and it has another router in there, which I should have known, but I don't know why my mind didn't like really put that together. So that one's already mounted and then we're gonna mount this one in this little carriage right here. You can see this. And then both of these routers, that one's already plugged in to this outlet right here. This one will plug into there as well. And then the switch on top will activate both routers and then you can go to work. What the? I haven't even made a single cut with this thing. It's full of sawdust. <laughs> That's crazy. What's the deal here? 
Hopefully they didn't send me a refurbished one. I would not be happy. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know, maybe they, they pro probably what they did is they probably tested it, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this router here. It'll just slide into this carriage. They have this knob, you just loosen this knob, slide this thing in. It needs to move a little bit like that. Yep, like that. We'll tighten this up and shove this in here out of the way so this can still move freely. For the sake of this thing being an odd contraption, I'm gonna put my glasses on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so nothing went flying. So I think our assembly went pretty well, even though we didn't really assemble a whole lot. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut through this rubber piece, and then we'll try it with a piece of material. I might try it with this material, because right now I think it's calibrated for 13 16 which is what this is. And then I might try it with a piece of Windsor 1-2, which is true three quarter and just see if I need to move some stuff around to calibrate it because most of the stuff we're using is not going to be 13 16 like cabinetry. We're going to be using three quarters or less. So, but mostly three quarters. So let me cut through this thing. That, that is actually pretty dang cool. Um, We'll show you guys again um, how that works. That bit comes up, it cuts the slot for the pocket, and then you let it go, and then you pull this back, and then that bit comes out and makes the pilot hole. That is pretty genius right there. That is pretty crazy. If your bit is burning, it is caused by a dull tool or too slow of a movement of the operating lever or both. So this is, Apparently they're just stressing right here. Get this done quick. So, I mean, that is way faster than the Craig. Just pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut my first castle pocket with this little scrap that they gave me and we'll see what we can come up with here. That scream didn't sound too good. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, that is freaking clean. Right in the middle of this little one by two. That is sweet right there. That is so quick. It's crazy. The motion of this should be pretty cool. You should clamp it, go like this and like that, and then unclamp it, move it over, and then spin your piece around. That's pretty crazy. All right, we're gonna try it with a piece of one by four, and I'm gonna see if I need to recalibrate this for the stuff we typically use. So I got a little scrap piece of one by four, and we'll see what we can do with this calibration here. No, it looks like it's still gonna work pretty good. The screw is still pretty dead center of that one by four right there. Those pockets are clean and that was so quick. It's like a joy to use. It's crazy. I'll probably be out here on the weekends just pocket hole and scraps now. It's fun. It's so easy, even the whole family could do it. Hey, who wants to cut a pocket hole? Me. All right, everybody line up. You're gonna push it away from you? Pull it back towards you. Keep pulling it back until this metal touches that yellow, okay? Mm -hmm. So it'll be all the way towards you, away from you, and all the way towards you. Ready? Yeah. It's clamped, it's not moving. How many times? Once or twice? Once, one time, away and back, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, go. 
Touch that. You're gonna push it away and then pull it back, okay? So just to show you guys how easy this is, I have Josh here. How old are you, Josh? Two. Two? Okay, you're two. So look, this board right here has nothing on it. I'm gonna let you put a pocket hole in it, okay? So I'm gonna clamp it right there. And remember what I showed you? You push that away and then you pull it back, okay? So I'm gonna turn the machine on and then you do it, okay? All right, go ahead. You did that. Yeah. Well, let's flip this thing over and see how much dust we have. Uh, there's not really anything up in here. Everything is right here for the most part. I'm not sure if they have like a dust collection port somehow for this. So I was looking at the back of this and I noticed these little punch outs right here. That's probably where the dust collection goes. I didn't read the whole owner's manual yet. I'm sure they say something about it in there. So let's talk real quick about the weight of this machine. I would say it weighs about the same as like a table saw or miter saw, but I have my scale right here and I'll actually give you guys the weight, the actual weight of this. So this I'm gonna weigh myself and then I'll hold it and then weigh it. So it's clocking me at 191 and a half. And then with this, Two thirty-nine, forty-seven and a half pounds. So, just call it a fifty-pounder. It's really not that heavy, especially for something that is just gonna sit there. You're just gonna take it from the garage or shop to the truck, and then to the bench, to the cut hub, whatever you use. So, no, it's really not too heavy at all. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I'll let you know if any issues come up with it and how I like it actually using it on a site. But first impression of it, I mean, that is to get those pocket screws cut that quick, that easy, and almost like fun to use. It's like one of those old arcade games, you know, like where you're messing with this joystick. This is a joystick, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's not a handle, it's a freaking joystick because it brings me joy to see this. But that's it guys, this is the introduction to our new Castle TSM-12. You can see it right there. If you want to check them out, it's castleusa.com. Again, this is not sponsored. This is just you witnessing the downfall of a man's bank account. <laughs>